You know, uh, I was able to watch this video two times and, you know, it struck a chord in me. And, you know, uh, I wanted to get on here and do a response to this video because so many points that this man has hit on is so relevant, so beautiful, so passionate, so truthful, especially in the time that we live in. And I think that this is one of the greatest videos that this man has ever put out in, uh, you know, I'm doing a truth uh, series or Pioneers in Truth series of videos talking about uh, different kinds of YouTubers uh, that is having is had is had an impact on my life as well as uh, great messages of truth that I think that everybody in spite of whether you like them or not you can learn a lot from but I'm gonna go ahead and and do a commentary based on this video because it is so important for you folks out there to understand, what he's talking about so that you can move forward and be at peace in life. So let's go ahead and let's listen to what he's saying, uh, because I thought it was an excellent video. I thought it was a it, it was it, it was just perfect. It could not have been done uh, 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 more elegantly. Uh, it, it was just a perfect video. So let's go in and let's listen to what he's saying. OK, let's go. There are a lot of things in life that we'll probably never understand. Uh, people come into it and people go. Um, we all have left something. We all have joined something. And I've never returned uh, to the military after I left it. I never returned to any of those jobs uh, to ask for those jobs back again after I left it. Um, does that make sense? Does that make sense? Let's go. So, you know, the same principles apply, uh, especially over here uh, in the ministry and in the faith. You know, we've had um, some people who have been excommunicated, who have had a pastor excommunicated. Um, and the truth is, my posture should be it's finished, it's over, it's done, it's totally irrelevant, case closed, uh, it's time to move on. But the meat of it, he's going to get into it. Let's go. Um, there's no way, shape, fast, and form just because you get people out there that if they say something, just because somebody says something, it doesn't mean it's true. People say a lot of things. They say a lot of things. But I'll stop there. And it's just like anybody on YouTube. Everybody, everybody has a right to have an opinion. Everybody has a right to review something and give their objective analysis, uh, even provided that it's respectful, if it's not respectful. I mean, me personally, I try and make sure that I'm respectful uh, in any objective analysis I'm doing on any situation. But at the end of the day, it's my opinion. Uh, uh, you know, uh, like you used to say all the time, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but everybody's not entitled to their own facts. Just like Yahshua has said, many many times before if you really truly want to know people know them by fruit fruit don't lie don't lie at all do not lie at all i tell you you better watch people about what they do and be so wrapped up in what they're saying how they're passionate and they're eloquent and, and this is how the devil come this is how to come in your actions speak so loud i can't hear what you say fruit just does not lie um, and so when you get people that if they leave community, if they leave the ministry or if they, uh, have been excommunicated and, and they're gone, mm -hmm. uh, the case is closed. It's done. We should not let those who on the outside try to influence, uh, us on the inside. They have no dictation. Mm -hmm. Uh, they cannot control the narrative. Uh, we're doing something totally opposite of them. Mm -hmm. Now, 
you know, it's, it's a tough thing. It's a tough thing, and I'm learning this. It's a tough thing when when you get people who misrepresent you, people who have lied on you, the people, especially me. You know, I've done a lot of provisions over the years for a lot of people, from pastors, elders, uh, brothers and sisters, um, and then to sit and watch my name, you know, get skull dragged and lied upon and, and ran through the mud, and I get people who... Um, I hardly ever don't even speak to. Next thing you know, they're so offended because uh, I'm busy working. You get it? I'm busy working. And they get so offended, man. I'm like, wow, 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 wow. What is going on here? But, you know, the truth is... As Envy and jealousy. That's exactly what's going on. Let's go. Just things you just have to accept in life. And I do accept it. Um, and you need to just... I need to let them go. You need to let them go. Um, because if you think out there for one minute at any time somebody that has left something as profound as this ministry right here, and they're going to mean any good for you, you think you can have any fellowship with them, it won't be the same. Um, it, they w it will not be the same. They're you know, and I did a video um, talking about this very same concept that you're not going to build anything with anybody that has all types of 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 bitterness and hatred uh in their hearts towards somebody um you know i did a video and, and, and was talking about trauma bonding and how people will come together uh based on uh the negative negative experience of someone else now and i said it in the video you know hey you know people we all uh, I've been in situations where we wanted to vent on something, but at the end of the day, what good is that going to do you? What good is that going to do you if you're not going to take it to the next step of saying, you know what, this happened, uh, let's move forward and let's build and let's love. It's been my personal experience and what I've seen throughout all aspects of life that these people never do it. They never do it. Um, it's like, Alcoholics Anonymous. So, you know, the first thing you got to do is you got to acknowledge that there's an issue. Uh, before you can heal, you have to acknowledge that there's an issue. But a lot of people, they're so bent up in uh, their offenses, whether it's true or false, whether it's somebody that's done you wrong or somebody that hasn't done you wrong, whether it's perceived or not. And I include myself in this analysis. Um, whether I felt like I was done wrong or not, hey, at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. And if you hold this in your spirit, you'll never grow. But let's go ahead. Let's listen. There's malice. There's ill will. Um, there's hate. Uh, there's envy. There's jealousy that is working in their heart and it ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. See, this is why you can't build friendships. You can't build relationships. You can't build communities. You can't build. A, you can't be. You can't do any of that. It's going to fail. Why? Because it's not based on uh, a genuine love of one another. It's not based on a genuine care uh, for a mission, uh, a directive. Uh, that is focused on truth and righteousness is built on this person hurt me. That person hurt me. It ain't going to work. Let's go. It ain't. Um, so the best thing to do, and I'm actually preaching to myself too, um, after all of this, is just forget about them. They're gone. They're gone. Once you receive your letter excommunicado, you're totally irrelevant. You don't matter. You're gone, gone, gone. You're out. You're on the outside. And you have no influence on what we're doing here. Bye. Goodbye. Good riddance. And so long. And that includes those who have left. Um, I don't know too many people out there that will open up the doors of their home like we have a straightway and give people a place to stay. And then only after a few years or something like that, uh, everything seemed good and then I guess people change. People do change, don't they? And so we need to allow them to change, let them change, and we continue to keep moving on. Uh, like I said, the Most High continues to keep blessing. Um, uh, we are right now in the process 
of that. We just purchased some new land, and now we're already in the beginning stages, the planning stages of actually building a, a home on that land. And you know, and, and, and it's so important because, see, if you hate on others, uh, you know, I'm personally, and I've been saying it for years, it's nothing this but a beautiful thing to see uh, people, whether it's developing a homestead or community, uh, whatever it is, a homestead or community, um, or, or, or thriving in the business, one of the things that I love to see is people prospering because you got so much negativity out here. You got so much... Um, uh, malice and hatred out here and you know i've experienced this myself people hate you because you're succeeding in life and the reason why they they hate you as well is because they're failing in life they're failing at anything that they do they're not blessed in the labor of the hand so they're not going to be happy for you because they themselves they're not doing well at all a person that is envy and jealous or have malice or ill will in their heart towards another person's success, by default has no success at all. I mean, I've seen it. I mean, it's just during the past eight to I've seen it all. Is just sad. But let's go. The work is still going forward. And think about this. Wouldn't it be wonderful if you've been a good brother and sister and a good standing in this ministry, you stayed filled with the Holy Spirit? Uh, you stay out of drama, you stay away from lies, you stay away from discord, you stay away from all this stuff. And then the next thing you know, you get the call. That, that's the key right there. Staying away from all drama, staying away from all discord, staying away from all lies. Just, just stay away from it. Keep yourself. It, it, you can do this in any situation. You know, it's a beautiful thing to just be able to just remove yourself from a conversation and remove yourself from a presence when you hear some 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 shit that you don't want to be involved with going on. I suggest everybody do that because then it'll keep your peace. It'll keep your sanity and you ain't got to be involved in nothing that's negative. I don't care where you are. They say, hey, you want to come and if, hey, it's totally up to you. I, I, we got a clearance that that you could be a part of this community and you get to move into a nice home. Um, and that, and think about that for a second. Debt free, no mortgage, no rent, no none of that. Again, even that people can spend whatever they want. Um, but I can tell you one thing: I, I, I am at the point here at Straightway that we have a beautiful family here on this land. Uh, they're solid, they're consistent, they're faithful, they're loyal uh, to the Most High Yah and to their pastor. You know, I was listening to the uh, brother that does construction. I don't, I don't remember his name, but he did a video at, you know, he stays on Kabir's land. And and he did a, a testimony of his experience and how glad and how happy he was. And I sat back and I listened to the comments and I heard people do videos, reaction videos on that man. And, you know, my thing is, you know, it's personally... If the man is happy, let him be happy. If the man is content with what he got and what he got going on, what business is it of mine to think that I should pass judgment on this man? I'm not that man. I'm not in that man's shoes. I, you know, I, I'm not married to that man's wife. I, I, I'm not what well, we do the same thing. But, uh, hey, there's nothing. You get what I'm saying. What business is it of mine to pass it? If he's happy then why can't you be happy for him? If he's content, what, what he's experiencing, how he's doing and what he's doing, I don't care if he walk up in the damn house and do 10 jumping jacks and say, play, bless you, elder. What business is that of mine? What business is it if anybody wants to be in any situation that they want to be? And I said it before and I'll say it again. Provided that you've done your own due diligence and your independent research and you're clear as to exactly what you're getting involved in, no problems whatsoever. And if you haven't done your own due diligence and independent research to find out what you're, the situations you're getting involved in and you got duped or you got took or whatever, that is your business and that is your business alone. You got to take personal accountability and responsibility for that situation. I said it before. I say it again, and I stand on those words. Period.
But if people are happy, if people are content, what business is it of mine to pass judgment on them? That ain't me. It's amazing. It's amazing. But then you got out here, people out here struggling. You got inflation off the chain. We've been talking about this for years. People, are, it, it's bad out there. It is very, very, very bad out here. Me, I live in a, in a community where it's a whole bunch of old money. So there's, there's money out here. But there's people that are living in these cities that are struggling, working two, three jobs, um, can't pay their rent, pay, can't pay their mortgage, can't can't put food on the table, um, can't pay their car notes, uh, 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 working menial slave way. It's sad out there. Y'all better wise up to see what's going on because we've been talking about this kind of stuff for years. Uh, they're hard workers. Uh, the children are sound. Uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing we have going here. And because we have this beautiful, beautiful thing going here, um, we cannot allow any longer outside distraction. So uh, let let the, the, the people that have been uh, excommunicated, let them go. They're not going to stop. They, no, they have me, nothing else this. in life. I don't want uh, you have to understand a lot of people, they... Give me, um, I don't want this one. I want another one. Bring me two options. Tell mommy to give me two options. All right. Never, ever stop watching straightway. They never, ever do. Um, years can go by. Years can go by. And then all of a sudden, some somebody will get out there and, and uh, speak a falsehood or a lie. And next thing you know, they come out from under the rock that they were under. And then they try to lend support through that false testimony. And they're gone. Hey, let them go. Let them go. And you know, it's amazing because let's just think about this. In this you know, I say over and over again, you know, you know the reason why people jacked up? Because they eating genetically modified. See, I, I, we picked this right from the garden right there so you see this out right from the garden this is fresh salad right from the garden and this is why people can't think straight because they ain't growing their own food this is why people can't come to you know do any kind of deductive reason and logic because they all jacked up in the brain i was watching these false testimonies of people years then gone by and i've told people i've spoken to people right and i said well hey uh, uh, why haven't you been able to get, if you're such a good woman, why haven't you been able to get married and settle down and have a family? If you're such a good brother, this and the third, why haven't you been able to do any kind of progress in your life? It's sad. It really is sad. This world, people can sling insults and obscenities back and forth all over the place. And when it's all said and done, it's nothing but words. Nothing but words. And nothing but words. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. This one is a Thousand Island dressing or Italian dressing. No, I have a Thousand Island. Let's go listen. And from my point, my perspective, it's really a waste of time. It's nothing but words, so think about it. Because unless we are in one of these Roman courts and the map. A total waste of time. A total waste of time. It can be settled. It's really nothing to it, isn't it? It's just words. It's just it, what it is. It's, it's just one of those things that eat up time. So I've got to refocus. You need to refocus. Let's all refocus. Um, and let's stay with our mind straight towards the course of Israel. And and this is why it's so important because, you know, I mean, I, not, I analyzed the past three, four, five months and it truly do. It, 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 it gets you off track. Um, and this is why personally I had to forgive and I had to move forward because, you know, you don't want these kind of things to consume you. Um, like I said, I was entertained and, 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 and at the same time, it's amazing how uh, what comes around goes around. Well, it, it's amazing how these things play out. And I really do thank you. Yeah, I thank the father uh, uh, for issuing righteous judgment uh, 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 and, 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 and things being settled because those who have heard it done harm and, and perpetuated evil, they can't do it anymore. They cannot do it anymore. It's just a beautiful thing. Thank you. Okay. I ain't, I ain't have my 
I'm just bringing my dinner and everything. Thank you. Excuse me. Y'all can take this. And this too. Thank you. Whoa. I tell you, it's nothing like a, look at that. I mean, it's just a good meal. It's just a good, isn't that a good, delicious meal? I mean, after a hard day's work of providing for your family, you know, and, and you come home and you can get to, get to come home to a good home cooked, delicious meal. You know, but you got to be a worker. You got to be able to, you know, do that kind of stuff. But you, you don't see a lot of people doing that. You see a lot of people, you know what they do is they get on social media and all they do is they run their damn miles. That's all they do. They don't do nothing else. They don't provide any value to anybody else besides this. And I told you, that's all they got. All they have is words. Let all the disgruntled distractors, all the jealous people, all the envious people, let them all go. Let them all go. Let them all go. Um, and, and, hey, and if something comes up a little later or whatever it is, we'll just deal with it at that time. But we got to focus. We still got a lot to do. We got a lot going on. We got two communities, one, one, two communities, three communities in Tennessee that are still building and developing. We got one in Missouri and one in Alabama. They're still building. They're building it, and, and the work is, is going forward. Um, well, we know buildings are going on, and one in Indiana, um, and we're just busy. You know, we're still going up and down the road helping. Who got time to fight? <laughs> When you got so much to do, you know, the age I was saying, there's always something to do in a homestead. There's always something to do. Who got time for any of this? It's a distraction. Move forward. Move on. Build. Do what you need to do. And each other, being brothers and sisters, each other. So we have to become a close-knit type group because we don't expect the world, those who don't obey his commandments, those who don't keep his commandments, they're not supposed to understand what we're doing. They're not. Uh, my advice is, is that once they're gone, let them go. Let them go. Leave them alone. Unsubscribe from them. Um, get away from them because all they're going to do, if you're not strong enough, they're just going to drag your spirit down and keep you distracted and steal your joy. These people are troublers of Israel. Leave them If you're weak in the spirit and you can't watch these people, because me personally, I'll tell the brother, um, you know, I dedicate a certain amount of time. First, I'll, I'll get my my homemade ice cream. We we bought an ice cream maker, and I'll get some syrup, and I'll get you know my wife will make a some some uh, some some brownies, and I'll have a heat up the brownies, and um, um, I'll have some cookies, some chocolate chip cookies. Um, and I'll log in and I'll be entertained by these liars and deceivers, these people that do nothing but spread lies. And, 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 and I'll go and, and that's how I entertain while well, watch Netflix when I can watch these people and be entertained at the lies and the, and the deceit, because see these people, they're filled with envy and jealousy. They're filled with malice. They're filled with. And they ain't going to do nothing. I've been saying this for months. Going on five months now. All they have is words. They're not going to do anything. You're not going to see them do anything. All they're going to do is talk to talk. But they'll never walk the walk. They'll ne you'll never see them really adding value to anybody else's life. You'll never see them really strengthening anybody. But they sure will get up and attempt to use people. Alone. Let them go. Envy is not going to bring them back. Nope. Jealousy is not going to bring them back. Nothing is going to bring them back. Um, they can, I, now, don't get me wrong. I forgive every single one of them. I forgive them all. I do. And that's why in this forgiveness. Because if you don't forgive, you're going to be bound. You're going to be bound. This is why it's so important to just move forward. I'm releasing them and letting them go. Let y'all go on in life. Mm -hmm. Go on and have the best time in life you can. And you um hopefully saturate mat maturation um process or whatever but as for me and my house we're going to continue to serve y'all now i understand 
that I'm a strong man spirit. And I'm a man of my word. I mean what I say and say what I mean. Always have, always will be. Um, and, and even I myself uh, may succumb to, uh, if it gets to me, some of their insults or something like that. And I have to practice more self-control. And, 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 and realize that when someone is dead and they're dead to you, they're dead. They're dead and they're gone. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm yep. the quarter. I have nothing else to do with them. Move on. So That's the best way. Because, see, this is larger than what he's talking about. This is for all of you out there to understand that sometimes you just need to turn the page. You just need to go on. And this is what I say personally. That listen here, if you're so big and you're so bad and you're so bold, why don't you go out there and show the world how it's done? Why don't you go out there and be a light onto the Gentiles? Why don't you go out there and build something yourself? And let's see that the, hey, the, by their fruit you shall know them, right? Right? If you so y'all feel, if the Holy Spirit is with you, if you're so anointed, then it'll show in fruit now, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? But I've been saying, all these people, all they're doing is getting up and all they got words. All they got to do is attack. But when you look at their lives, they got nothing to show. They're not increasing in any way, shape, or form. Um, they're not enriching anybody else's life. They're not adding value to anybody's life. They're not uplifting anybody. They're not encouraging anybody. They're not so they're not doing any of it. Why would you listen to such people? Why would you take people like that very seriously? Why would you do it? It makes no sense whatsoever. We have to just move on in life and keep on going as God leads us. Um and, and be encouraged as we continue to keep on this Holy Spirit journey. Hey, we got Feast of Tabernacles on. Feast of Trumpets actually coming up. Um, what you call on? It starts on Monday night, September the 2nd. Let's get ready for that day. Y'all get ready to come down here and have a wonderful, wonderful time. Um, also, if you plan on going to the Dallas, Texas meeting the 27th um, of July of this month, call this number behind me. Give us your name. Leave your name. I'm going to put out uh, the address to the meeting place. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to put it out. Um, this blog talk radio. This blog talk at Friday night. I'm going to put out the information. And I want to comment on this boxing thing. Now, again, I'm commenting from the perspective of on the outside watching and listening to both sides. And why I feel it was so important for Pastor Down not to accept any challenge is due to the simple reason that if he accepted the challenge and he won, he would have lost. If he accepted the challenge and lost, he would have lost. It was a lose-lose either way. The reason why is that um, why give a platform to someone that is irrelevant? Why give a platform to someone that um, can't, can't produce anything, doesn't produce anything, all has his words? Because... The, the the whole goal, when people get up and do it, it's like for me, right? Let's just say I get up and I start blasting Pastor Down, and blasting and calling him names and then say, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick Pastor Down's ass and I want to meet up with him and I'm going to knuckle drag him and this and the third. Really? Would, 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 would it make any sense? For Pastor Dow to respond to a man like me, would it make any sense? It would make no sense whatsoever. That's how personally he should respond to everybody. What sense does it make? What does it benefit? Who does it benefit? It only benefits the person that's making the request. Because you know why? Because they want a platform. 
They want to be seen. They want to, they, they'll be more than happy to lose so that they can win. They're more than happy to try and win so that they can win. It's a win-win for the person that's slinging the accusations. It's a win-win for the person that has the malice and envy and jealousy in their heart. Why give such a person such a platform? It makes no sense whatsoever. It's like a, um, uh, a lion uh, concerning themselves with the opinions of an ant. Why would they do that? It makes no sense whatsoever. No, this is my objective opinion on the matter. I haven't spoken to Pastor Down in eight years, eight, nine years. Um, I haven't seen him. This is just my objective opinion. Um, uh, and I think that he did the right choice. I think, that, what's the point? What is it going to accomplish? Releasing tapes and, and fights. and What is it going to accomplish? Who does it benefit? Who does it benefit? Does it benefit the congregation as a whole? Does it benefit the people as a whole? No, it don't benefit. It only benefits those who are looking for a platform to, to, to enlarge in their footprint and to get uh, on a larger stage. Um, but I, you know, what I've noticed is all these people, right, that come and they make these videos and they talk and all this talk, none of these people can't get together and do nothing. They can't do nothing. They can't do so much as get together on a damn feast day. It's, 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 it's sad. It really is sad. Why? Because of the bitterness, envy, jealousy, anger that they have in their heart. And you're not going to build any friendships, any relationships with anybody that has such spirits on them. Um, uh, can people heal and find common ground? Of course they can. Of course they can. Uh, but with all this envy and, and bitterness and hatred and anger, um, nah, nothing ain't going to happen. That stuff consumes them. Uh, and this is why I say it all. Uh, and, you know, I mean, you know, this is why I like. Um, and looking back over many years, um, uh, the chickens done damn come home to roost. Um, the truth is always going to out. The, the lie is always going to be exposed. And those who have been unrighteously uh, 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 per persecuted will always be vindicated. But sometimes it's not going to be done through your own hand. Sometimes you got to shut up. And it may take many years. But at the end of the day, righteousness has gone forth. And people can move forward in spirit and truth and build. Because at the end of the day, you're going to know them by their fruit. Watch them. Watch them and see what kind of fruit they produce. All of them. I've been saying it for, for, for months. They're not going to produce nothing. They're not going to produce nothing because, um, uh, it, like I said, you know, all these people, all these accusations, um, they're guilty of every single one of them themselves. It's amazing to see. That's why I say it's just so entertaining to watch. But hey, at the end of the day, um, righteous judgment is going forth. Um, everybody can move forward in spirit and truth. And it's just a beautiful thing. It really is a beautiful thing. Um, I'm joyous. It's, it's you know, like Cat Williams said, all lies will be exposed. And boy, all lies are being exposed. Um, and it's a beautiful thing. But y'all keep your peace out there. Uh, I thought it was an excellent video. I thought that uh, he handled this situation the way in which a real man handles a situation. Uh, and sometimes you just got to ignore. 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 You know why? Because at the end of the day, and I'll say this in closing, excommunicato, excommunicato, yeah.